He was raised. I am here, getting back to my desk, getting ready. Hello. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be. Hopefully the ducking is working right. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, everybody. All right, we're going to get started here in just a moment. Let me get out of my tweets and out of my head and into a different mind space. Lord. The world's crazy. Well, I have found a lovely job to do today.
I didn't get any replies or any suggestions on where to go. And so I looked around, looked around, and I thought, well, which direction do I want to go? And I had no uh, bias, no... I don't care. I haven't seen any of it. These are all the adventures of Sky Dude, you know, learning, every, you know, traveling around. Never been here before, never been there before, so I don't care. So, opening up the jobs, I just kind of left it to that and started clicking through different jobs. And then all of a sudden, pop! Fifty-eight minutes after the hour. So, yeah. And I started looking at the route, and I'm like, well, there's a lot of interesting places that might be of interest to people. And we're going to end up at Lake Superior, or the corner of it, in Duluth there. I thought, yeah, that's the trip we need to do today. Let me get my auto scene switcher going here. Music, as always, provided by Pretzel now. That is not sized properly. It's better. If you need live stream uh, YouTube and Twitch safe music for your live streams, check the link in my description. Currently listening to Yacht Rock. Alright, let's see if the functions are working. That is working nicely. Now, how about... Alright, just minimizing some final things here. hit pause on there right now all right good morning afternoon or evening wherever you might be in time and space uh kenny is here the sky dude no that's not my real name that's uh this role-playing persona my pilot persona for this and uh this is episode number 49 and i found a great job for us to do today okay let me head over to neofly I lost all my pilots. So they finally uh, released Neofly 4 officially. And I was in the pre-release purchase, but I guess I didn't donate enough. So if I want my pilots back, they're holding them ransom, and they want $10, and I don't want to give it to them. I haven't made $10 on any of these videos yet. If I can make 10 bucks. And get some subscribers, then yeah, I'll go ahead and spring for it. I know what's ten bucks, right? But it, you know, they told me I didn't donate enough, 
so I told them, well, I don't want it. I don't care anymore. I've made I made nine nine point seven million dollars with those pilots. And now all I have to do is wait. And what I'm talking about is there are crashes that you can go to and you can find gold and you can find artifacts that are worth Buku Dinero Senior and Senorita. Okay, so this tab right... Are you not seeing that? You son of a gun. Of course, the... Of course. What I mean is, is that um, something always has to go wrong. And now it's Neofly that has decided to not find the right window. There it is. You son of a gun. Okay. So first let's get let's get our job. So then let's lock that in. And since we are da, 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 we need to spawn at the runway we landed at yesterday in Millbank. Ah, make sure it turns green when you select departure or you will spawn in the air. My aircraft has no fuel. Please add some in the hangar. Roger, roger. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, back over here to Neofly. So now that I have... A a bunch of money, I need to be very frugal and just keep doing my own jobs, working for myself. Go back to that till I make $10 on uh, these videos. Maybe get my pilots back. But this tab here, four down, the flight tab. Manage your flight with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Zoom out. And this changes every 24 hours. And look for the purple exclamation point. It might be hard to see on the screen, but I'm trying to circle it with my mouse. In the program, you'll be able to see it a lot better. I hope you can see it. So as I keep zooming down and zooming down onto it, that is where there is a wreck of some kind. Unfortunately... This is a horribly hostile area. I don't. Uh, I'm not even good with a helicopter, and the helicopters aren't working for me right. There is no place that you that I could see to land within one mile of this location. But every 24 hours, this marker moves around the world, and if it shows up close to you. Hey, I'm I'm broadcasting here. All right, and you can fly to it. It will first of all, it'll cost you an arm and a leg if it's not close to you. And then, God forbid, you try to take your plane with you. Thank you. Stop calling. Okay. If you go there and land within a mile of it, and you um walk over to it, you can find stuff. Among them, gold, and among them, an uh, artifact. If you find an artifact, just go to the market and look at what artifacts are going for. I don't know how many zeros is that. I can't squint. My eyes are shot. Maybe you can read how many zeros are there after this five. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. All right. Gold. Four, five, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so you can, uh, you'll pick up bundles of gold. And again, you can find an artifact, possibly even more than one. But so far... 
and I have been watching mostly daily. And the marker tends to favor every place but any place near me. I've been lucky once. It uh, was over here, kind of where we're at, near Minnesota. I can't, uh, I can't remember exactly where. But it was just right in the middle of a field with everything was perfectly flat and grass fields and any you could just land anywhere. And I just landed pretty much right next to it. Not a problem. Strolled over and got some gold. It, But again, what it cost to get there, it almost wasn't worth it. But now that I got 9,760506, yeah, but I'm still going to be very frugal. I would like to go down here, but it, there's just no way. There's no way I can get in and out anywhere near that thing. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, so I'll be waiting for them to pop up here in the United States and uh, closer to us. And when they do, we're going to go hunting. Dun, 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 dun. I did not hear our headquarters dispatch. Haven't heard them yet. It's so quiet without the music. It's just so darn quiet. Something. All right. Still haven't heard nothing from uh, dispatch. On our job there. Oops, I moved the wrong thing. Well, it says we have the job. thing is a beast. In a plane, it makes sense that you can have this up here and it, you know, you can still see over here. But in the simulator, it's kind of difficult. I wish I could move things around and slide these controls. So I'm going to set 5-5. Five, five. Probably don't need that much. Let's go 4-5. Flight level change, yaw damper, half bank mode, be set to nav. I 
All right, looking to my invisible co-pilot and see if he's awake today. I always like testing him out and getting us out to taxi. So I turn it on uh, to AI piloting, and he's ready to go. Hey, nice job. Good morning, Steve. Yikes. I haven't adjusted the speed. That drone is awful fast. Let me double check that we're on live weather. We are live weather real time. Hey, South Dakota, it's been fun. You have you have some beautiful places. A real pleasure. Howdy the folks at Millbank here at Millbank Airport. Hello, hello. Whoops. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. We'll take it from here. All right, up, up, and away. Going to leave South Dakota, traverse into Minnesota, and travel on a vector that should take us to over places that people know. Over to a big lake, people know. It's a superior lake. Egotistical and arrogant, but, you know, the right to be. Minneapolis Center Kineas 2-1 is type Cessna Caravan, two miles northwest of 1 Delta, 1, 1,800 feet. You kind of scared me there, Steve. Squawk 1372, Kineas 21. Okay, so I got that part. Kineas 21 radar contact, two miles north of 1 delta, 1, 2,100 feet. 2978. All right, 2978. Adjusting my altimeter here, barometric pressure, 7.8. Using a decent knob, red line in a bit. Let's pull that back. We don't need all this power right at the moment. We're, well, we're almost at our desired height. You know, actually, I think we're good here, so we're going to level out 3 5. 3 6 2. 3 6. Good enough. All right, don't need you. All right, yeah, throttle. Don't need the 
เอาบาYou are a VIP passenger always, so you can have any seat you want. Kick back, take your shoes off, kick your feet up. It's, I don't care if you smoke, I don't care if you drink, I don't care, whatever you want to do, man or woman, whoa man. But I always do feel like a guest. Two drink minimum. So kick back. And I will pull up a map. Uno momento and we will I will point out places to us. It's all new to me, too. Beautiful lakes. I want to go fishing. That one looks kind of nasty, though, doesn't it? That one with all this pond scum on it. It's probably awesome, though. Oops. Okay, let's scooch over to this side. Now, with Neofly, you uh, you probably get this included now. But I had to pay for it. But I don't care. Still didn't donate enough to uh, get my pilots. And that'll be up on the screen and... 10 seconds or so. Sky for Sim Pad. I mean, it's got some neat features. All right. So, hey. We just crossed Ortonville. It's Highway 75. U.S. Highway 12. Crossed 680th Avenue. So if you know these places, cool, man. Looks like we're getting ready to pass over another cool lake. Let me, uh... Come on. So touchy to try to get it resized right. Man, the graphics on this map are great. Actually, really good. So, coming up on... Fairfield Morris That darn drone camera always slowly rotates. Why the drone slowly rotates, I don't know. Artichoke. I pointed that out yesterday. I'm like, hey. A place called Artichoke. 
There it is, right below us. Artichoke. I have to resize it every time I zoom in. It's linked somehow. Well, now it's not doing it, but that's fine. Occasionally when I do that, it... It zooms with it. Ah, see, like that. So it's tied to that key somehow. Wish you could maintain all the detail, no matter what zoom level. Try to get all that information. Just have to leave it up to the big places. Yeah, like at least there. Very pretty. Dang you. Hegbert. It appears, the text appears for a, just a moment. I don't know why it doesn't stay. See, you zoom out, you get text, and then it goes away. This almost sounds like Arthur Uria. Wow, you can show VORs, NDBs, airspaces. Oh, that's kind of nice. Which one puts it back? There we go. Satellite.
I mean, about some town. Small little place. Starbucks Municipal Airport. Starbucks. Well, now I'd rather not actually have the airport information. With runway lighting? Oh, I see. Airport filters. That's the one we want. Alright, just passed by Morris. Glenwood coming up. And Sauk. Talk. Wonder how you pronounce that. I've heard of Saint Cloud. Still a little bit concerned. We never did hear from dispatch. It again, it shows that we have the job. But hopefully when we land there it kicks in. Note to self, always load in first. Nine eight one. Everything else looks fine. We're actually hauling. Um, going pretty darn fast. Let's take a touch off. Don't want to overspeed.
You know, we're not in... little bit hazy this morning it's very nice there's a minnewaska can't read that other marker at the moment Long Beach. Lenwood Township. Sounds like Black Sabbath. Glenwood. How nice would it be to live on something like that? On the edge of that. Very nice. I like the curves in that. She's got nice curves. Yeah. Most water masses, you see, they look like the schmoo. And that one had distinct... Distinct curves. This one's got a unique shape. It's like a snake who who's just finished eating something really big. There's his head and he's thinking, oh my, I ate something really big.
Westport. But there's no port there. I guess it doesn't have to be. When I think of port, I think of a, you know, a waterway passage place of disembarkment or embarkment. <laughs> a place of loading and unloading. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a good day. Exploring places we've never been. And being stupid. All right, getting ready to cross 94. With all those dots, I can't see where it's headed. Up to South Dakota? And Dota? Man, making great time. I did not even think it would be that short of a run. Hey, Daniel Schneider, good morning. Please like and subscribe so I can like and subscribe back to you. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Pretty amazing world simulator that it can do something like this. What they've what they've accomplished with this. 
Just so mind-boggling. I knew it would be good one day, and it's going to even get better. That's crazy. 2024 is going to be coming out, and they're saying all the trees are going to be 3D, and this technology now that we're looking at, this can't hang, and wow. And I'm not even on the good stuff, really, either. On a super high end and RTX and yada, 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 yada. But it's still just, yeah, awesome. Do you fly? Do you have your own flight videos and uh, your own channel? So many questions. Do you have it? Are you on PC? Are you on Xbox? Are you a professional pilot? 20 questions. It's still a little weird to me growing up and always being around mountains that when there aren't any. And, I'll, and I've always used the mountains as bearing, you know, to know which way is which. On the ground, it's like, well, which direction am I facing? I'm sure there's other clues in the environment, but right off the bat, you can't just say, oh, there's West. That's cool. I'm glad somebody came in and said, at least said something in the chat, said hello, and made contact. I get a lot of people that come on, and they and they just watch, and that's fine. That's fine. But say hi. I don't bite. Say hi. Tell me what you're doing. Definitely like and subscribe so I can, again, return the favor and run over and subscribe and like your content and I'll hit notify and I will do my best to check you out since you stopped by and help you out as well. Oh, we're starting to move off our map here. Swanville, Little Falls. Piers, Piers, Brainerd, I've heard of that, well with spiders coming down and it's like right in front of my face and it's really tiny and it's hard to see and it's drifting closer, magnetic attraction, what are you doing Spider-Man, it's so small I can barely see you, but I can see you. And you seem to have a web shooting to me. Did you just land on me? Where are you? And then you just shot down and landed on me. You're going to end up getting hurt if you're on me. I mean, that, like, I mean, just be moving around. You're too small to be on something as big as me. Like, I'll show you. Yeah. I would have probably never seen it, but he 
just dropped right down in front of my eye. What in the hell? Come on, man. So yeah, he doesn't pose a real big threat. Only to himself. Oh, look at that place, Sobieski. There's this young lady that I think about when I see that name, Sobieski. Isn't Brainerd where Fargo took place? No, it's Fargo. What, what took... Why am I thinking of Brainerd? What took... What movie took place in Brainerd? Googling it. Fargo. The town of Brainerd, Minnesota is the partial setting of the 1996 film Fargo. The film was shot mainly around Brainerd, but some snow scenes were filmed as far as Grand Forks in North Dakota. The film's original title, title was Brainerd. Just funny, he's just funny looking. I knew it. I'm glad my brain isn't completely failed me. Silly little trivia, though. Oh, one moment. I have a phone call. All right. Test. Test, test. One, two. I apologize if the mic isn't spot on. I need a new one. This one is really old. And then it's been around, sadly, a lot of cigarette smoke and other smoke. And it just doesn't sound crisp and clean anymore. And I'm trying to use OBS equipment and uh, I don't have professional audio equipment on the desk uh, the OBS filters I've tried other VSTs too but again I think it's just the microphone that that's kind of giving up the ghost speaking of ghosts and if you're into the Sims I know an old guy like me playing the Sims but I've been a Maxis fan forever when I was a kid Anyway, uh, the wife and the and the and the kids got uh, Sims Four Horse Ranch, and if that's something that floats your boat, after this live stream, I'll be uh, doing one for that. It's called Cyber Slickers, kind of playing off City Slickers, and uh, got a guy and his robots that move to a horse ranch. Hello. Scared me. One, two, five, decimal five for Kenya's two, one. And today's episode is, uh, Kenya's two, one, three thousand five hundred feet. Kenya's two, one, Minneapolis center altimeter, two, nine, or decimal eight tree. Continue as planned. Uh, it's about ghosts. Today's episode is about ghosts. So, through watching other live streamers and checking out their stuff, they pointed out that. There's a, a ghost that shows up at night. And so the Hardy bots are going to go uh, investigate today. 
Let's check our status. Yeah, doing good. So, first time in Minnesota that isn't like traveling over it at 30,000 feet, getting to see things up close and personal. Yeah, normally if I'm flying over, yeah, it's A320. Buh. So I just say this over and over sometimes, but I'm really proud of Colorado and, and you know, the, the beauty of it here. And I always compare it to other places and end up talking crap about, well, I uh, in Colorado. And, you know, there's a, a lovely charm and beauty to everything, no matter where you live, really. So I always find myself eating my words. It's like, oh my, this is beautiful. I wouldn't mind living anywhere in your lovely state. I would need a compass, though. So today's job should bring us, if it does work, I, we didn't hear from dispatch, but it says we have the job over here. Um, should bring us $21,000. So let's hope so. And also, if you're considering getting Neofly, something that's really exciting and can propel you is this button here the whoa this button here going to 118.05 minneapolis center kinias 213500 feet kinias 21 minneapolis center altimeter 29.82 continue as planned roger roger okay this button right here it changes every 24 hours and you need to zoom out and look for the purple exclamation point it's been tending to favor Europe and Africa a lot more but it has appeared once in North America and I went and got it you need to land within a mile of it and in this case it's in some horrible horrible territory in Mexico you could not land anywhere anywhere near this thing but if you do and you go to one and you find one that's nice it'll cost you an arm and a leg to get there but the but the possibility is you can find gold and you can find an artifact and on the market they go for silly money so if you were to do that a couple of times you can rake in some huge bucks by keeping an eye on that every 24 hours. Uh, and I'm just waiting again for it to... Uh, waiting for it to show up in North America again. And someplace nice like... You know, um, I got really lucky. The first time it was just in the middle of a beautiful area of land that's just flat green fields. So, and there was an airport like a half mile away. That's what you want. Something like that. So the market, like five, it was like 50, I don't know, I can't do math. It's a lot of zeros. Five followed by six zeros. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, my brain is rewired. Hey, spider, I feel you. Where are you? <laughs> You need to just get off me, little buddy. You're going to get hurt.
Catho and Mill Millie Lax Lake. Is this our destination coming up right here? K S U W, I think so. How am I not seeing it? You're closer than that. There can't be that many airports between us, really. Well, I suppose it is. Farther away than I think. Oh, nice. Alright, we're close enough now. So, just Duluth is right up ahead. And that's pretty much it. So, I can close that now. You can enjoy an unobstructed view. Now that's a lake, and then it's going to even get bigger from here on out. Wow. I don't mind lakes it's oceans I just I don't dig it I don't dig it I don't dig it unless the planes got flotation devices built onto it <laughs> what why would you send a plane across an ocean that doesn't have pontoons no matter how big it is That thing should be able to land and everybody should be able to open the doors and go fishing. Any plane that crosses the ocean should be able to land and let everybody go fishing in the worst case scenario. No airplane should be able to cross an ocean that can't land and let people go fishing. I know. That's dumb. But if I was king... Oh, you'd see. Just kidding. Don't get me anywhere near near power, man. Tried avoiding all power in my whole life. It's dangerous. A Jedi seeks not these things. Got a small taste of it once. It was like super power hungry. Power mad. Went home and I said, I never want to do that again. Hmm. 
No, thank you. I'm really in starting to become in love with this beast it's you know you look at it and you're like yeah that doesn't look like something I want to fly that doesn't look like it's any fun and now I absolutely realized the wonderfulness of it especially in today's America where we're all fat right you're like, yeah, I'm going to get myself a Cessna and haul around all my fat friends. No, <laughs> that ain't happening. So one, you just need it because people are fat. Right? I'm not knocking fat. I'm just saying we are. That's just the way it is. I mean, you look at homes and everything. Everything is built for tiny people. Um, and just the cargo capacity and the, the weight you can carry, right? So not only can you carry your fat friends, you can carry a lot of stuff. People talk about living in their car. I'd gut this thing and put a big screen TV in there and a bed and... Yeah. So this is, I'm hearing this is favored by like FedEx and Brown and UPS and all them, Amazon, and I get it. Because like, you know, I don't know too much about other types of planes, but it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of options between something like this and then the next step up is like a small jet. There needs to be a, a lot more like this, and this kind of needs to be the standard starting out plane for fat Americans and fat pilots starting people out in Cessnas I don't think is going to cut it anymore maybe just you and your instructor but he's going to be marveling at how fat you are and myself included look I'm slamming myself I'm fat you ain't fat I'm, f I'm fat man Yo, ding dongs, yo. So, yes, this should be the plane of choice for everybody now. Let's see if we can pick it up now. Wow, it's still not showing up. They have a lot of little airports around here. They have a lot of airports.
Wow. Flyers heaven, man. Kind of like Colorado. They have a lot of little airports everywhere. It looks like we've got some weather left and right of us. We're parting it right down the middle like Moses, though. Well, we'll be on the ground before anything can mess with us. Very pretty. Little lag on the drone there. Yep, very, very pretty. So we're almost there. We have crossed Minnesota. I don't know that we're done with it, but first day here. A lot shorter than I thought. So making really good time. This will be a $12,000 job if all goes well. We didn't hear from dispatch when we took off, but it shows that we have the mission or the job. And I just have my fingers and toes crossed that when we get there, it gives us a payout. Even if it doesn't, it's fine. I mean, it's just a, it's not a big deal, but I would like to get paid. Music as always by Pretzel. You need, and I'm not getting paid for this. If you need a uh, music safe music for your YouTube or Twitch live stream, your gaming stuff. If you're doing something like this and you need music or whatever, then um, check out the link in my description for Pretzel. It's a song trader company and they have tons of stations uh, like tons of different music channels. You know, any genre you can think of. And so far, so good. It's not been foolproof. Occasionally, you get what's called the, uh, you know, copyright trolls. And sometimes certain tracks slip by or, or missed, picked up by the AI, and you have to dispute them. But they have a nice little form for it. It's mostly painless. But it's an imperfect world. But so far, it's been really, really good. So dozens and dozens of hours of streaming with Pretzel and very few problems. This stuff is, these places are all new to me. Normally I travel over them in an Airbus. So I'm at 30,000 feet and I never get to look at anything. So these are my first real low level cross country flights. And uh, eye opening, digging it. I've contained most of my flights to Colorado. So if I ever do um, get brave enough to go try to get some licenses, I've been just doing constant training in Colorado. And practicing, practicing, practicing everything I could possibly learn about flying.
So this seemed like a really nice way not only to have a little bit fun or a little bit of fun doing the career thing, this career add-on with Neofly 4, but also to, uh, you know, a reason to start doing cross-countries. I'm not plotting everything out so much, kind of a lot of doing a lot of direct GPS, but when there's definitely interesting terrain, mountains and hills and, you know, breaking out sky vector and plotting and doing a lot more formal flight planning kind of stuff. Custom GPS plans and yada, 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 yada. But out here, it's just pretty much you don't have to worry about too much. See about now. We'll definitely overfly it and fly over um, Lake Superior a little bit, the, the corner of it here. And we'll make our way back down and land. If I can get a set up though, that'd be nice. KSUW, there it is. Bong? Really? Bong. The AI, is the AI is probably going to get mad at me for saying that. Flag me for... Uh, we're going to put an 18 or older flag on your video for saying bong. You're talking about adult things, aren't you? No, it's bong. You said it again. Going to limit the ads on, on your video. So the wind is... 210. So let's try 14. Kilo Sierra Uniform Whiskey Traffic Kineas 2129 or miles southwest 3,500 feet inbound to land runway 14. No tower at Bong. It's fine. So this is all Duluth then. I know I've been here as a kid. We had relatives. And I remember that was the first time my family went water skiing. Probably in one of these around here. But I was so small. Beautiful. That's an eight. We need more of those in Colorado. We would need some, even a few on the highway down there. You see that? Or that road. I hate what they're doing with our highways out here. Feels like you're in prison. I'm glad I grew up when I did. In the, uh, I was born in the late 60s. But to still see America before it came so, I don't know, so developed and more authoritarian in some way with like the highway thing like if it snows around here you know you could get off the highway and go through the down into little tiny little gulches and get onto frontage roads and you know make the best of a bad situation and now they've got all the highways locked with barriers and this and that and if you get stuck you're stuck you're you're not going anywhere you can't get off on a side road 
just drive down through the little, whatever, you know, the little easements between frontage roads and highways that, the, you know, that we have all over the place. So these traffic jams that we're experiencing now, because we can't just freely do what we need to do to travel unimpeded, we're all just locked in like cattle. And they stretch for 50 miles. The last bad one coming out of Pueblo uh, recently, like 50 miles worth of traffic stopped. It's, you know, there's development and then there's just retardedness. And we really are just these days just retarded. And the people that are leading us, and I shouldn't get too political, but mostly the people that are leading us in every aspect of our lives are retarded. And I grew up in the 70s when you could say retarded to mean stupid. It also means, you know, like arrested development, kind of retarded. I tell everybody that's a, a lot of the reason why I learned to fly. You got to have a good bug out plan, right? These days. I I learned it because um, my dad flew when I was young. And I wanted to learn how to fly. And fly with my dad. Which I never did, but... But when people say, hey, you have a good bug out plan? Or, you know, if we were to... It was a zombie apocalypse at the end of the world. And we had to form a group. You know, what kind of special skills do you, uh, do you bring? Well, <laughs> may not have done too much of it at all in the real world. But I'll bet you I could fly us someplace and get us uh, out of the vicinity. And I know exactly the type of plane we need. You're looking at it. You're absolutely looking at the perfect bug out plane. How awesome. We're coming up on Lake Superior. Look at all that mist. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, live weather real time so if you're in Minnesota over here you can go outside and or look at this video and know what it looks like outside and think yeah that's what it looks like around here that's usually what it probably looks like Hey, oh man, I'm sorry. I missed another person saying hello in the chat room and I, asked, I said, please stop in and say hi. Daniel Schneider was the first one to say awesome today. I need to go to Daniel's channel and subscribe. And I need to go to FX Nico. And subscribe. So, thank you for stopping in, both of you. And I know you've already left, but thank you just the same. And I've gone over and subscribed to your channels. And I await your future content. Look at this.
That's cool. I don't know what it is, but I like circular things. Still so much just looks unspoiled. Despite all the years of development, you know. People are like, oh, the earth is going to be covered with asphalt the next 80 years. You're retarded. I can't believe I saw that as a headline once. It's like, you don't fly in Flight Simulator, do you? You don't, you don't fly and you know nothing about the size of the world, do you? You just have no idea what you have just said. And how <laughs> you are. Wow. Hope the AI doesn't get mad at me for saying retarded. Wow, that's like nuclear green. You people have nuclear green land around here. That's alien. Nothing is that green. That's right, we live here for the radiation. The alien radiation in the soil. It's probably not how they sound at all. You know what we need over here, boys? A lot of tanks. Lots of tanks. I'm not going to be happy, boys, till I see my dream come true. And we have a lot of tanks. You did it, boss. You did it. I've got to see my tanks built. Far out. This is lovely. That's cool. Wow, the magnitude, it is superior. I can't zoom out anymore.
You know, okay? Well, we did not lose connection with YouTube or anything else, so... It's a, uh... Microsoft server issue. Sorry, right. I, I really want to see if I can turn up the buildings since we're getting close. Might freak the computer out, but... Or at least better. Alright, let's take over from Steve here. Thank you, Steve. Uh oh, lovely rail yards. That's what I'm seeing down there. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty far out. Play SimCity in those Sim games enough and you start really paying attention to railroad layout.
Yep, yep, yep. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. That was a little bumpy. Blared a little bit too much. I heard a thump. I keep forgetting how flat this thing is. All right, folks. Uh, I did not know that the name of this place would be called Bong. Here we are, at Bong. And let's see if we get paid for this job. Whoops. Crush fingers, come on. Big bucks, no whammies. Big bucks, no whammies. Come on. Come on. Really? No, really? You're not going to pay me? I appreciate this. Somebody's really going out of their way to try to sound like Pink Floyd. We didn't get paid. Oh, man. I'm going to try to shut down Neofly and start it over. See what it does. That's a real drag. Come on, Neofly, pay me. Waiting for it to start back up. Nope. It didn't even update where I'm at. Oh well. Life and times of a sky, dude. Just another day. Alright, well. I look forward to finding out. Hold on, let's... First of all, let me kill this, and let's just see if it's working at all. Let me just pick a job and then cancel it. And we need to move our pilot now, so we're going to pay. We're going to pay for this flight.
five thousand bucks. Yeah, okay. Oh, now we have to move the plane. Another five thousand. Yeah, it was an expensive day for us. I Yikes. It's going to be a good day when my favorite pilot is working. Well, at least we know they're there now. Let's get out of here. All right, well, that's working. So I don't know if these jobs will be available tomorrow, but... Just looking over some of the possibilities that are here at the moment. Let's do it by distance. Start at the furthest points out. Wish I could hide all the airports. Can I? Yes. Back to the other edge of Minnesota again. Towards North Dakota. Towards North Dakota. Towards Iowa. Yeah. So that one if they have something like that tomorrow, possibly there. But maybe we can find something going towards I see Thunder Bay up here. That's the only one going that way so far, really. It's short, though. Not a big deal. You can always find something else. Alright, well, we'll see what the job board looks like tomorrow. At the same time, hopefully. And, um... See where our adventure leads next. So... Thanks for tuning in today. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for tuning in today. Alright, well now yours truly has to go get ready and do, to do a Sims 4 Horse Ranch livestream. I bet you're still laughing tomorrow. Are you sure you want to admit that? 
Yeah, I'll admit it. I can take it. <clears throat> I started playing Maxis games when Maxis was new. Computers were new. And I've been a Maxis fan my whole life, and so we don't have very many Maxis products at all anymore. And I'm hoping, like, with Microsoft Flight Simulator, they brought it back from the dead. And I hope that Maxis can come back from the dead. And I hope that, uh, you know, now that we have all this amazing... Look, what we're, look at the compute power we're playing with today. Just in this one live stream here. All the compute power to bring the simulator together. And then the live stream and yada, 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 yada. If they can do that... I can only imagine what the future of a return Maxis could look like. Anyway, that's where my head's at, thinking about them. You have a wonderful day, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Stop in, say hi. Thank you. I'm sorry if I missed your chat. I have went and subscribed to your channel. Your channels. <laughs>